can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship for this. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Trying to establish the jab early on here. That's how you do it, beautiful kick by him there. Oh, that's how it's done. He blocks the shot and then delivers the straight counter. That's a beautiful body kick. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was gonna go to that front kick early, and he did not miss with that one, DC. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick. Expect him to keep going here, because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. Heavy body kick lands. Frantic pace early on to this one. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Guess to the single collar tie now. Jacasey's kick to the body, that one blocked. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Ooh. He is not seeing his head kick as his opponent's foot leaves the canvas. Pretty good straight punch there by Jacasey. Lands a nice jab there. Under three minutes now to go in the rounds. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Lands a solid kick right there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. with the free hand. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks. He'll just pop a jab on. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Get them out here. Nice positional control here. Lee getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Mm, nice. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Good work from the top here by Jacasey. In the half guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Jacasey's right back to the full mount. He's setting up the arm bar. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now, he's advancing. 
Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He oh, starts, no. he starts to extend the elbow. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. 30 seconds to go in the round. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Oh, big punch lands. 15 seconds remain in the round. Need some work, guys. Jacasey gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. for the end of round one. Both guys showing up in a big way tonight. All right, take a seat. That was a good round, but I need you to be a little bit more accurate this time. I need you to land those kicks this round. Start mixing up your attacks. All right, so let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those questions, it is not on him to change anything. Continue to throw those kicks. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. No defense, these two are going back and forth. Another leg kick land. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. So Casey gets the single leg takedown. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, he got to the spot. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Two minutes now to go in round two. Good volume with the kicks, not just one there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two.
jab is on point right now. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Nice defense to block that punch. Great job landing that body kick. Well, these fighters did not come to play defense tonight. Back and forth we go. 60 seconds. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Jacasey. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Nice leg kick. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under and landing, right to the body. He's got to do something different right now, or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Setting up a spinning strike, snaps off the kick there. Oh, he lands that teeth. Seconds winding down in round two. Trying to kick the leg out. Two rounds in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corners sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, doing work with the jab. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Front kick by Lee. They continue to exchange. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Push kick there to the body. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You gotta watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Slicing elbow comes around the corner. That only happens if you can gain posture control. Oh, effective use of the jab by Jacase. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. a really strong leg kick there by Jacasey. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. 
Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Jacasey going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Jacasey's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Solid kick right there. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Under a minute to go in the round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Jacasey's thigh starting to show serious signs of bruising that. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Pretty strong jab there by Jacasey. 20 seconds to go. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit okay, in that okay, cut. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Good shot, good shot. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Back and forth we go here. Oh, nice hook. Leg kick lands. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it move. Stay close. Lee gets touched by that kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Keep going with that. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Big knee lands to the body. Gets tagged again on the inside. Oh, roundhouse kick. Another 
shot to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice leg kick. Swing and a miss by Jacase. What a fun fight between two guys that only fought Charles. Oh. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice jab there by Lee. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, another kick right on the cap. Now, I'd tap out, but I'm not a fighter. What do you do? I mean, there's not much you can do now. You got to just bite down on the mouthpiece and get through it. Because right now, you won't change much. It's already beat up too far. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Back to the jab now, no good. Jacasey's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Well, I always marvel at the physical toughness of you and our entire roster, but, dude, that thigh is in rough shape. Yeah, at some point, it doesn't matter how tough you are. When you have taken that many shots, it starts to dead leg you. He'll start to have trouble walking and moving around the octagon, and then you become a stationary target. Tries to work it into a takedown. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, huge knee to the head. 20 seconds left. Oh, I like that kick there. Jacasey's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Targeting the body with the kick now. Oh, and he lands another huge kick. Buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Lee gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense there. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. Deep now. Oh, Jacasey gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful knee by Lee. Keep 
clean punch. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad. It's starting to get to a point where you got to keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Put your hands up higher. Come on. he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Real quick leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. That shot blocked by Jacasey. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the doctor? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. Great timing on that double leg. Jacasey is in half guard. Two minutes now to go in this one. Lee gets back up. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate it. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, that calf is just taking an absolute beating. And for someone like myself who isn't necessarily physically tough, I can barely look at that calf right well, now. Well, John, when you watch this, and you watch how ill-prepared he is to defend this attack, as a corner, do you start to think about maybe throwing in the towel? Because this fight is over. Headshot! Bang! He's in a lot of trouble. single collar tie there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Jacasey's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled, it is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! 
So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all stuff.